Well, ICE could soon be operating a now vacant detention facility in Willacy County. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez brings us up to date on a possible deal being made. The contract has not been signed, but there is an agreement to do that. Willacy County Commissioners met yesterday to discuss a contract for the use of the detention center that closed its doors in 2015 following a riot. This intergovernmental service agreement comes after Management Training Corporation purchased a facility last year in March. Yesterday, commissioners approved the agreement that would allow MTC to run the detention center privately to house ICE detainees. For now, the agreement is on hold pending review of the county's legal department. It's a commitment to go on paper it has to be verified by uh, our legal department uh, in order for, for us to proceed signing. About 400 jobs were lost when a riot broke out in 2015. Judge Guerra said they do not know how many jobs could be created. That will depend on what kind of detainees will be housed there. That's something they don't yet know. If the facility opens, it could add to the tax to the county's tax base as it is private, as it is a private facility and it would be subject to taxing entities. MTC and ICE both declined to comment on the pending contract and no deadline on a response from Willacy County's legal department was given. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.